Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example based on the strain energy. That is, a simply supported beam carries a point load P eccentrically on the span. Find the deflection under the load. Assume uniform flexure rigidity. See here, this is a simply supported beam. Here, a concentrated load exactly placed at a distance A from left support A. And similarly, B from the another support B. Here, the load is not exactly at the center. So, already in the last two example, I solved one example that is exactly concentrated place at the center and find the deflection at that position. Then here, in this lecture, here a concentrated load is acting at a distance of A from the support A and at a distance of B from the support B. Means, the load is acting eccentrically on the span, not exactly at the center. See here, here we, have, we are finding this deflection that is delta exactly under the load. So, our first step is to find the reactions at the support. If you want to find the reactions at the support, so there will be shortcuts for these simply supported beam. If a point load is acting exactly at the center, the load will be distributed equally. Means reaction at A and reaction at B will be equal to W by 2 and W by 2. Means here, if a concentrated load P is acting exactly at the center, means reaction at A and B will be equal to P by 2 and P by 2. At the same time, an uniform distributed load is acting on the span, on a simply supported beam. Then the load also distributed equally, that is WL by 2 into uh, reaction at A will be equal to WL by 2 and similarly reaction at B will be equal to WL by 2. But here, an eccentric, a concentrated load is placed eccentrically on the span. So, you have to remember directly the reaction at A will be equal to P into this distance B by total length L means P into B by L. Similarly, reaction at A will be equal to P into this load into A by L, P into this distance A by L. So, reaction at A will be equal to P into B by L, reaction at B will be equal to P into A by L. So, otherwise you can go for the procedure. See here, see here, I am taking, I am resolving moments about A, means taking moments about A. So, I am taking clockwise moments one side, anti-clockwise moments another side. See here, I am taking, resolving moments about A. So, clockwise moments one side, another anti-clockwise moments another side. See here, clockwise moments, first clockwise moments, force into distance. Here, the force will be acting, so the distance will be A. So, force into distance is the moment uh, about A. Therefore, P into A, which is I am writing in the clockwise direction, clockwise side, equal to anti-clockwise moment. So, this RA, RB, RB into A. So, which is acting anti-clockwise towards A, the distance here will be RB into L. So, I am taking another side, uh, which is RB into L. Then, I am sending this L, this side, then you will get RB will be equal to P into A by L. So, therefore, your RB will be equal to P into A by L. Then, our next step is to find the uh, RA, that is total vertical loads, means sum of the vertical load on the span. So, here I am taking both vertical loads, RA and RB upwards. So, therefore, I am taking RA plus RB. So, the downward load here acting will be equal to P. So, sum of the vertical loads will be equal to 0. RA plus RB minus P will be equal to 0, I am sending that P thus, another side you will get RA plus RB equal to P. Then already you people know RB value P into A by L. So, I am substituting the value in, in place of RB. Then you will get RA will be equal to PA by L equal to P. Again, I am sending this RB value this side. Then you will get RA will be equal to P minus PA by L. Again here, I am taking P common outside. Then you will get 1 minus A by L. Again, you will get here L minus A by L. So, what is L minus A? If you see here, A plus B will be equal to L. In the total span, A plus B will be equal to L. If you want L minus A value, so B equal to B equal to L minus so, therefore, I am taking in place of L minus A directly B value, this B value. Then you will get directly here P into B by L. 
See here, therefore, our reaction at A will be equal to P into B by L. So, you please directly remember the things. It is very easy on a simply supported beam if an eccentric load is placed on the span. So, reaction at A will be equal to P into B by L. Similarly, reaction at B will be equal to P into A by L. Otherwise, you can go for this procedure. Then, I am writing here. This one will be equal to P into B by L. Similarly, here that one will be equal to P into A by L. Then our next step. So, reaction at A will be equal to P into A B by L and reaction at B will be equal to P into A by L. Then our next step is according to the formula. See here, the strain energy stored in the beam AB means they are asking the total strain energy stored in the full span length AB. So, what is the formula for the strain energy? That one will be equal to integral of 0 to L m square dx by 2 ei. That is the formula for the full span length m square dx by 2 ei integral of 0 to L. But here, the total strain energy stored in the AB will be equal to there will be two sections we are considering AC one part from here to here AC one part and again CB another part. So, therefore, total strain energy stored in the beam AB will be equal to this AB will be equal to AC plus strain energy stored in the beam AC plus strain energy stored in the beam CB. So, in the last lecture that is if a point load acting exactly at the center. So, there the distance will be equal that is at a distance of L by 2 from L by 2. If you resolve moment in only one section also, you will get the same moment in another side also. So, which is in the symmetrical condition. Therefore, what I am taking at that time? 2 times of 0 to L by 2 f of x ds based on the property in the max. 0 to L f of x ds if a function is even, we are taking 2 times of 0 to L by 2 f of x dx. But here, it is not exactly at the center means it is which is not symmetrical. Therefore, we are taking total strain energy on the span AB will be equal to strain energy stored by AC plus strain energy stored by CB. Then we have to resolve moment on that particular span. For that what I am doing strain energy stored in the AB will be equal to 0 to A means the distance taken from here to here will be 0 to A m square dx by 2 A plus Again, the here 0 to B, this one, m square dx by 2 A. So, the formula, so this one will be for A, B span, A, C span. Similarly, and for this one will be B, C span. Then, we have to find this m value in the A, C span. Similarly, m value in the B, C span. Here I am taking moment in AC span, moment in AC span. For that what I am doing here, I am considering a section, I am considering a section xx, this section will be xx. at a distance of x from a. So, I am considering a section in span AC, I am considering a section xx at a distance of x from a, means from here to here. So, at a distance of x from a, from here to here. Then I am resolving the force here, then you will get moment in span AC. The force will be force into up to the here the distance. The force here acting upwards and acting to clockwise towards up to the section x. Therefore, Pb by L into x. So, therefore, moment in span will ABC will be equal to that one will be equal to Pb into x by L into x by means here the meaning force into distance which is acting force into distance. Pb by L into x. So, therefore, moment in span AC will be equal to Pb by L into x. Therefore, Pb x by L. 
similarly moment in span this bc so if we want moment in span bc so for that what i am doing here so i am doing same procedure i am considering a section here xx i am considering a section xx at a distance of x from b so this is x x section from here to here it will be from here to here b it will be at a distance of x from b then i want moment in this span so the here the force will be acting upwards and up to the distance x means moment will be equal to pa by l into x therefore that one will be equal to pa by l into x and here it will be acting negative anti clockwise towards x therefore i am taking negative p a by l into x so i am di writing directly p a x by l see here moment in span ac will be equal to pb into x by l similarly moment in span bc will be equal to pa into x by l then we will move to the next step so directly take down the values and substitute in the formula so moment in span ac will be equal to pb into x by l similarly moment in span bc will be equal to pa into x by l see here in the first step what i am doing here i am taking 1 by 2ei common for both the terms therefore i am taking outside and taking integral of 0 to a m square dx plus m square dx 0 to b m square dx this is for span ac and this is for span bc and i am taking span ac moment that is this pb by x pb into x by l here and here p into a into x by l so here there will be square terms therefore i am squaring this terms you will get p square b square x square by l square similarly here p square b square x square by l square See, similarly here the value will be minus p into a into x by l whole square minus into minus because of the square terms then you will get p square a square x square by l square into dx then again in the next step what i am doing i am taking this constant term p b by l and p a by l outside i am simplifying like this outside and again applying integral for the x term that is 0 to a x square dx similarly here 0 to b x square dx then if you simplify that one integration of x square dx means integral of x to the power of n will be equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 5 1 here also x, x square will be equal to x to the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is x cube by 3 again taking limits 0 to a similarly here also integration of 0 to b x square dx will be equal to x cube by 3 0 to b this integration i am applying this limits then in the next step what we are doing applying upper limit minus lower limit so a cube by 3 minus 0 similarly a b cube by 3 minus 0 then you apply the limits directly so i am taking 1 by 2 a common term outside p square b square by l square into a cube by 3 minus 0 plus p square a square by l square into b cube by 3 minus 0 so then finally you will get this value if you simplify step by step then you will get this value directly you simplify by your own i am simplifying according to my own here so you can simplify your own take down this step directly what is m value and how you will obtain that one and simplify by your own you will get that value then go to the next step See here, see here, again, here I am taking common term outside that is p square b square by 3l square a cube plus b cube. Here there is a chances of removing a square plus b square outside. Then if you take down like this means you will get a plus b common term outside. 
so based on the common term if you again simplify this one you will get p square a square p square a cube b square by 6 ei l square like that i am taking this a plus b in a cube b cube common term i am taking this a plus b outside then again a plus b will be equal to the total length of this span from here to here therefore in place of a plus b i am taking l here then cancel the possible terms whatever it is possible to cancel then finally you will get the value here that will be equal to p square a square b square by 6 c i l therefore internal work done that is strain energy will be equal to this value then another you for finding the deflection you will get uh, on both the formulas based on the castigliano theorem and at the same time work done by the external load so what is the formula for the work done by external load that one will be equal to half of the average load into displacement so it will be denoted with the w e therefore half of the average load means p by 2 into its displacement so i am equating both this external load and internal work done and external work done then half p into delta that one will be equal to this value p square a square b square by 6 c i l then cancelling the p terms here possible terms and here also one p then you will get delta will be equal to again i am sending this one by two this side means you will get two by six that is two times and here three times you will cancel this one will be with three times therefore p a square b square by 3 e i l so finally you will get a deflection under load p is given by this value for the simply support on a simply supported beam if an eccentric load is placed on a simply supported beam means the final deflection will be equal to deflection under the load exactly equal to p a square b square by 3 e i by sorry 3 e i l so this can be fine by using the castigliano theorem also so this is your internal work done so according to the castigliano formulas according to the castigliano formula the formula will be delta will be equal to do w i by do p here i am taking this w i directly in place of here do by do p into this w i value will be this value this value i am taking this value directly here and applying partial differentiation again i am applying do partial differentiation with respect to p means 2p remaining terms will be like that only constant terms 2p into a square b square by 6 e i l then again i am cancelling the terms two once two three times then you will get p a square b square by 3 e i l so by using work done formula or else castigliano theorem you will get the same value for the deflection under the load that is p a square b square by 3 e i l so this is the procedure for finding deflection under the load for the cap for the simply supported beam a concentrated load is placed eccentric on the span friends i hope you understand this lecture if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe my channel thank you so much